Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're focusing on our loyal and playful friends' dogs. So, let's explore five fun activities that will keep your dog engaged, excited, and fulfilled. First up, let's talk about fetch. Now, you might think fetch is just about tossing a ball and letting your dog run wild, but it's so much more than that. When you play fetch, you're not just exercising your dog's body, you're exercising their mind too. Dogs are natural hunters and that ball or frisbee becomes their prey. They get to tap into their instincts, chase, hunt, and bring back their prize. And when they bring it back, that's where the real magic happens. You reinforce that bond by praising them, petting them, making them feel like they've accomplished something truly amazing. Make them sit, make eye contact, build that anticipation. It's not just about the fetch, it's about the connection the communication, the unspoken language between you and your dog. So get out there, throw that ball, and watch your bond grow stronger with every throw. Now let's talk about those days when you can't always be out throwing a ball. That's where puzzle toys and treat dispensers come in. These aren't just toys, they're mental workouts disguised as fun. In the wild, dogs spend a lot of time foraging, sniffing out food, using their brains to solve problems. You hide their favorite treats inside, and they have to figure out how to get them out. It's challenging, it's stimulating, and it keeps them entertained for hours. Start with simpler puzzles and gradually increase the difficulty as your dog becomes a pro. Plus, it's a great way to prevent boredom and destructive behavior. A tired mind is a happy mind, and a happy mind means a happy dog. So keep those brains busy. Chapter three, agility training, unleashing their inner athlete. Now let's talk about agility training. You might think this is just for show dogs, but any dog can benefit from it regardless of breed or size. Agility training is like taking your dog to the gym, but way more fun. It's all about setting up an obstacle course in your backyard or even your living room. Tunnels, jumps, weave poles, the possibilities are endless. And the best part is, you can tailor it to your dog's size and skill level. It teaches them focus, coordination, and how to follow your commands. You'll see their confidence soar, and they'll be begging for more. So get creative, build that course, and watch your dog transform into a confident, agile athlete. Chapter four, hide and seek, it's not just for kids. Let's move on to a game that's as old as time itself, hide and seek. Now you might think this is a game for children, but dogs absolutely love it. It taps into their natural instincts to sniff, track, and find. Here's how it works. Have someone hold your dog while you find a hiding spot, then call their name and let them use their nose to track you down. The moment they find you, shower them with praise and affection. It's about strengthening your bond and improving your dog's recall skills. So next time you're looking for a fun and engaging activity, remember the power of hide and seek. Chapter five, socialization, the key to a well-adjusted dog. Finally, let's talk about something that's absolutely crucial for a happy and well-adjusted dog socialization. Dogs are pack animals and they thrive on interaction with other dogs. Socializing your dog doesn't mean just letting them loose at the dog park and hoping for the best. It's about controlled exposure to other dogs and people in a positive and supervised environment. Start by taking them for walks in your neighborhood gradually introducing them to other dogs on leash. Once they're comfortable, arrange play dates with other dogs you know and trust. Socialization helps them develop important social skills, build confidence, and learn how to communicate effectively with their own kind. So get out there, socialize your furry friend, and watch them blossom into a well-rounded member of the pack. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We hope you and your dog enjoy these activities. Remember, a happy dog is a fulfilled dog. If you have any other fun ideas, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more possum videos. See you next time.